Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to improve your shadow casting inside of water dough so you have more crisp shadows, especially if you can't afford Nilo Tune and or maybe you prefer Poyomi or Lil Tune for your shading. And this also works as well for M Tune surprisingly, so that's very good. Right now I'm just using uh, you know, a default Roy mod. This is Test Chan though, which is modified, but uh, this is using M Tune and we're going to actually make it where the shadows are better. So allow me to uh, show you how to get the shadows looking from this to a much more nicer one. So what you're going to do after loading your avatar, you're going to go into the directional light. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the color is set to white and intensity to one. Make sure shadows are enabled, which it should be by default. Intensity set to one. Then make sure that soft shadows is actually set to no. And then set the bias to a very low number, whether it's zero or 0 0.001. Then you can also set the normal bias to zero as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the bottom left, the paw here, go into settings right here, then scroll all the way down until you find the shadow resolution and shadow projection. Make sure that the shadow resolution is set to very high, and then shadow projection is set to close fit. And then as you can see, your shadow should be a lot more improved. Now, of course, there are some imperfections to keep in mind about. You can try and tweak the settings a bit more in the directional light in order to try and improve it. So let me try and click and drag that to maybe try and improve it. That doesn't work too well. Maybe saying this to a little lower number might help. Set it to that, set it to that, you know, try and see like what works best for me. Maybe this number works best. You could try saying uh, soft shadows or just, you know, you just pretty much experiment. But you should be able to see that your shadow casting will look better. Now, is it perfect? No. Again, if you have Nilo Tune, you probably may get perfect shadows. But um, at least for, you know, built to render pipeline shaders like M Tune, Poyomi, or Lil Tune, this is pretty good for what you're able to do. Uh, and I can quickly also show you how it looks like with, uh, you know, when a hand is over the body. So let's go ahead uh, over to self motion capture, set up by facial mocap real quickly, and then set this to have leap motion. So let's go ahead and quickly set that up. Uh, sorry about that. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my leap motion on right over here. Probably going to quickly reboot one moment. All right. And then as you can see, uh, the finger casting, um, as you can see, is really good of a quality. And again, this is M-Tune doing this. M-Tune. Now, of course, uh, you can use the same thing with Lil Tune or with Poyomi, and probably you can do even more fine-tuned controls on getting the shadow to be a little bit more perfect. Not crazy perfect. I mean, I can, depending on your preference and needs. But uh, just to quickly show you in Unity, by the way, because I do want to showcase how you properly enable the shadows for Lil Tune and Poyomi. So in Unity right here, uh, I'm going to go into the materials folder right here of my model. And let's say we're going to use the shirt for demonstration. So the shirt material. So if you are going to be using Poyomi, let's say I'm going to be using Poyomi Pro, but this also applies to the free version of Poyomi. So simply Simply what you're going to do is that under shading uh, and then shading over here, set the lighting type to be the multi-layer mask one and then make sure that receive shadows is enabled and make sure you set the shadow color of choice. So that way you're able to have the shadow casting be enabled like so. Now for Lil Tune, by the way, uh, for that one, you'll go into... Um, which gives us a moment. There you go. Sorry about that. Uh, you're going to go into the shadow 
uh, click over here and then make sure that the receive shadow here is set to one because by default it's set to zero. That is how you can be able to enable the shadow casting for both Poyomi and Liltune. And if you want to sort of preview these shadows in Unity to some extent, then what you can do is make sure that in the directional light right here, set it to these values right here. Make sure intensity is one, the color is white, make sure strength is set to one, Resolution is very high resolution, that the bias is to a low number or zero, normal bias is set to zero, and then what you can also do in order to make the quality of the shadows a little better is go into edit, then project settings over here, go to quality, and then scroll down until you find these shadow settings. You can mess around with these, but just to kind of get a closer look to what Wadudo will potentially look like, you can copy these settings I have here. Um, you can have distance shadow mask. I don't think this does anything for now. Uh, you can set this to hard shadows only, um, unless you want to try hard and soft, but I'll do hard shadows only. Very high resolution, close fit right here, and then set the distance to 20 uh, over here. And that's kind of it to try and get a closer look. Again, you can fine tune the settings uh, to kind of get an even more closer look if you like. But for the most part, that's pretty much how you can get the more um, the more sharper shadows going on. Again, this is for preview. In Wadudo, it should look a lot more nicer with the settings that I have showed you. But hopefully, that should help you out on at least getting much better quality of shadows. And again, big thanks to Mr. Zingy, Mally, and Gilly for providing the separate info for me to be able to combine them all together. So that way, it makes a lot more sense for every other user type when it comes to point. Yomi use, Little Tune, and even M Tune use as well. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.